We've now put all injectors into place. We'll just insert the very last, the yellow, at the end. Make sure you get it in, push down so it uh, makes a nice positive connection. As you'll see here, there's one remaining injector. This one is currently the matte black. As we've installed the photo black chip block, we've installed the photo black injector. If you wish to refer to matte black, you take the, the chip block out, swap them over, and swap these injectors over. We've left this one unprimed. It simply sits on top, as you will see. Close the lid down. Make sure you've got a nice clear gap there. As you'll see, tiny bit of ink there. We do supply gloves, and obviously we are dealing with ink. You get the odd mishap, so make use of the gloves. They're there for a very good reason. Take our central support bar. Now, we've already sorted out the little piece of Velcro, so we'll pop that to one side. But simple Velcro attachment. If you place that over, you'll find it fits very neatly around the display panel. Push that down. That's about as much contact as you'll require. We'll show underneath. You've got a small aperture which opens there. Now, with a little bit of encouragement, your tubes will comfortably slide into that aperture all the way to the top. Put that back over, push that down, and feed them through so there's a little bit of slack. Now with the 2880 you will notice yellow is to the front, very critical. With the 1900 it's in the reverse, yellow goes to the back, as with other ink flow systems such as the 2400.